All right. Welcome everyone to my channel. This is Online Mass TV, and my name is Jake's Animal. Today we have a very nice exponential equation. But before we go into today's challenge, if you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe. And when you subscribe, do yourself the favor of turning on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop a wonderful video, answer video like the one you're about to watch right now. Let's dive into today's challenge without much waste of time. The question reads. 32 to the power of x plus 5 equal to 5. What then will be the possible value of x? Now, let's go up without much waste of time. We put down our question. But before that, let's take selection. Selection. Okay. So the question again is 32 to the power of x plus 5 or equal to 5. This is an exponential equation. So what comes to mind first is this. This is base 5. So if I decide to put 5 here, can I raise it to any number to give me 32? No. There's no number you get to raise 5 to as a base here to give you 32. So I think of something x. What if I decide to put 2 here? Can I raise it to a number to give me 32? Yes. If I put 2 here, raise it to power 5, that will give me 32. So let's go ahead and do that. So we can rewrite this 32 as 2 or to the power of 5. At the exponent, we have an existing function already. So put it in bracket, x plus 5, close bracket, or equal to 5. Good. You can go ahead to use 5 to open up this bracket here. So this will give us 2 to the power of 5, x, 5 times 5 will give us 25 plus 25, everything equal to 5. All right, take a look at this. The x we're looking for is still up here. So what do we do at this point? The bases are different. And so we take log to base 10 of both sides of the equation. So if we do that, we're going to have this to be log your 2 r to the power of your 5 x plus 25, OK, base 10 equal to the log 5 base 10. Good. Recall the law of logarithm which says that if you have your log, your p to the power of k, let's say base a, move the whole of this exponent backward. And so this will end up giving us k dot log your p base a. So if we succumb to this rule, then we can rewrite this side of the equation. In other words, look at the whole of this exponent here. So we have to move the whole of this exponent backward. And so if we do that, we're going to have this to be your 5x plus 25. Let's put this in bracket. Dot log 2 base 10 equal to log 5 base 10. Easy. Okay. So let's continue on this side of the bird. So we have, from here, we're going to have this to be your bracket 5x plus 25, bracket log 2 base 10, all over log 2 base 10, equal to log 5 base 10, all over log 2 base 10. Okay. Now, because we're having log 2 base 10 here and here, so two of them will leave the system. And so here on the left-hand side, we're left with 5x plus 25 is equal to log 5 base 10 all over log 2 base 10. Easy. Now, look at this log 5 base 10 all over log 2 base 10. According to the change of base law, which says that if you have um, log, if you have log your a, let's say a base b, you can change this. This will now become your log your a base. Let's take it to base c, changing to base c all over log b base c. If you look at this, we are having something of this nature here now. So since what we have is similar to this, we can convert it back to this format. So I can rewrite this in another format. So let's go ahead and rewrite this 
according to this law. This will now give us here your 5x plus 25 is equal to log your 5 base 2. <laughs> Simple. Okay? So what we have here now is the same thing as this. We are looking for a. So send this 25 to this other side. So this will give us your 5x equal to log 5 base 2 minus 25. Simple. We're going to have here x is equal to 1 all over 5 bracket log 5 base 2 minus 25. Close bracket. This is the value for our x. Now, I've used calculator to simplify this answer down. And the answer I have from here, I put it into our initial equation, our initial exponential equation, and it gave me an approximate value to our uh, question, which shows that the solution, this, is very correct, 100% correct. Okay, so this is all I have for you for today. If you learned something good from this challenge, give the video a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to subscribe. And when you subscribe, turn on the bell notification button so that YouTube can notify you whenever I drop a wonderful video like the one you just watched right now. This is All I Must TV. And again, my name is Jigs Anemo. Here we learn mathematics every time. Bye for now.